The defense minister will next week order a thousand units of the new infantry fighting vehicle Borsuk, or Badger, developed by the consortium led by Wschuta Stalowa Wola, which is part of the Polska Grupa Zbrojeniowa. It is intended to replace the BWP-1 vehicles from the Soviet era. The 1,000 Badgers for the Polish army is another important military decision. Earlier, the government announced its subsidy for the armaments plant. The Huta Stalowa Wola will get 600 million of Polish Polish zlotys for development in the first installment of the investment. This cash injection means, among other things, expansion and modernization of the factory's infrastructure and machinery used in the production of combat vehicles. The next installment will be 1.2 billion of Polish zlotys. In the autumn of 2022, Borsuk infantry fighting vehicle was put to the test at the tank shooting range in Ozysz. Soldiers of the 15 Giżycka Mechanized Brigade, named after Zawisza Czarny, began testing of the Polish IFV in training ground conditions. The tests were conducted using combat assets while shooting at stationary and moving targets from a standstill and from driving. As part of the tests, not less than 30 explosions were carried out in various places of the vehicle to confirm that it meets the technical conditions. Jan Szwedo, president of the Huta Stalowa Wola, said that there are signals from other allied countries that they are interested in the Badger. We are open to cooperation, but for now we are focusing on the order for Ministry of Defense, he stressed. He also noted that the entire Polish armament group is working to increase production capacity in order to fulfill orders for the Polish armed forces faster. The Borsuk tracked vehicle was envisioned in a lighter armored version and with a folding breakwater capable of floating and transporting six landing troops. The three-man crew consists of a commander, driver and gun operator. The structure is designed to protect against small arms, fire, anti-tank grenade launchers and improvised explosive devices. The whole design was conceived so that the armor can be reinforced if necessary. Among other things, the Badger is equipped with a fire and explosion suppression system, a power generator and a filtering system. The design also includes the use of an active protection system for the vehicle. The designers are most proud of the use of unmanned ZSSW-30 turret of Polish design. It was developed by specialists from Huta Stalowa Wola and W. B. Electronics of Ożarów Mazowiecki. In their opinion, is the one of the most modern solutions of this kind in the world. Two independent targeting instruments allow hunter-killer and killer-killer operation. With one instrument, the gunner destroys the target, while with the other, the commander observes the area around the vehicle. If he spots a new target, he uses the hunter-killer mode to point it out to the gunner and the turret automatically positions itself in his direction. Killer-killer mode, on the other hand, activates in situations when the commander does not have time to communicate information about the target, then he quickly takes command and fires a shot. Using onboard weapon system, the vehicle has the ability to fight infantry, armored vehicles, air targets, and neutralize other threats.